Hey everybody, this is BJAX with Black Views, and today I have a report, and my subject is going to be Mr. Mike Bloomberg. You know, Mr. Bloomberg uh, was put or injected into the Democratic race. Um, I guess he feels like he's going to make a difference. I don't really see where he's going to make a difference. Here's a guy that started out, I mean, with the stop and frisk. I mean, it's not too many good things this man has done anything for black people. Uh, today, uh, he was asked on The View uh, whether or not he support reparations. And he said he, he supports the study. Once again, it's the, same, it's the same line. No matter where you go, it's the same line. They support the study. Has the study started? When will the study start? These are games, man. Everybody's saying the same thing now. Okay? Um, I think it's, once again, utterly disrespectful. You know, he was also, he, he brought up Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then when it came to the part where the city was destroyed, he said a bunch of gangsters came through. Once again, you see what I'm saying? We're not being honest with ourselves. And they don't even mention us, man. We're just minorities now. We're not even blacks. No, we, only, we only get mentioned when, when it's just when it's something that they want to put on us as far as uh, terror to the community or as far as incarceration, anything with drugs, then they'll say, yeah, African Americans are affected by that. They'll say that, but they won't talk about what caused it. They won't talk about who's causing it. They won't talk about who's bringing it here. I mean, this is a sham, and there should be no black person to vote for Mike Bloomberg. It's just sitting. It's, it's, it's no way in hell he should get a black vote. I don't know who's voting for him. I mean, he actually supported. To rough you up, check your pockets, pat you down. That, that, that was a tactic that they used in New York. That's an aggressive police state that he supported. So what do you think is going to happen when he gets to the White House? Okay. Talking about he's a philanthropist and he gives away his money. To who? Who's getting that money? He's worth, uh, what, $53 billion? Okay. He's donated over $60 million in, in, in contributions to other Democratic Party members before he came into the race. But none of that, none of this money goes nowhere. Like, I mean, he's a philanthropist. Who's getting the money? These are jokes, man. I don't tell you who's getting the money. The people that's saving the dogs, man. The climate change people. Them people. Those, those are the people that get the money. And that's no, it's not for anybody that's doing anything good for people in the city. <clears throat> that's why you have deer all on the outskirts of, of just walking around in, in, in the regular street and towns and stuff. You got deer walking around. Because these people build on top of you right on top of you. they will build right on top of you so a guy like mike bloomberg he's just going to already go ahead and support the norm that's going on there's no reason why this man should be president and there's no reason why any black person should vote for him he doesn't support anything for you he won't even he, he like i said once again he was on the view when he he bought a story about tulsa oklahoma he tried to make this like yeah and, and this happened and black people had had this but then when it came down to who destroyed this town? What happened to those people? He just said a bunch of gangsters. Like he couldn't even tell the story right. A bunch of gangsters. No, how about the KKK? How about the average white man who wanted a piano and never saw a piano, but he came into that town and found pianos? How about the machine guns that drove through there with trucks? All oh, these these men that came from from these wars. They came in, they dropped bombs on that city. Dyn sticks of dynamite, to be exact. So, so where is this, you know, just some gangsters? Listen, all he is here to do is to fill a buster, once again, cause another distraction, so they can get through the day. And it's going to be the same way it was last year. And the same way it was the year before, the year before, the year before, the year before. Nothing's going to change, and nothing has changed. I've lived long enough to see it. 
listen to all your democratic uh, uh, pundits and speakers and you thinking they're saying something to help that's going to eventually, you know, that will help you. It's not. <laughs> Once again, 20 years later, we right where we was. When you talk about de Democrats, we are right where we were. There's been no change. Only thing is changing is is that what they're trying to do is they, they, they're trying to feminize the young black men. But back on Bloomberg, so it's going to be more of the same with him. He's going to come into the Democratic uh, Democratic Party and and uh, and actuality, his man that supported Republicans in the past contributed to Republicans. So I'm trying to tell you, Democrats and Republicans are the same. They're the same people. They switched the parties back and forth, back and forth. It's the same people. They create laws, that no laws to help you. Between Republican and uh, Democrat, there's no, they, they do nothing for you. The agenda is to bring in immigration and to, re and, and to totally remove the stain of a, 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 a black man, a, a Negro, a Hebrew, whatever you want to call it, so-called black man. That's the, the, you know, that's what they want to do. They just want to remove you, mix everything all up, and, and then in the end, there's, oh, we're a new society. And then they can, what they can do is they can repeat the process again. Maybe with another group. Or maybe with all people of color in America. Who knows? I mean, think about it. You got you got white people out here talking about they not you ain't taking away their guns. I mean, they're literally saying that. You know, they're talking about we we gonna do, and then the town, the county, everybody telling them what they gonna do, and and yeah, and and they, they they're threatening the national guard members and shit. I mean, these white people. Nobody saying anything about that. Nobody making a big deal about it. So it's more of the same, guys. And anybody will ask me, don't vote for Mike Bloomberg. It should be not one black person to vote for Mike Bloomberg. He has nothing for you at all to help you as a black person. I'm not talking about no other groups. I'm just talking. I'm talking about my group that I take my race that I take interest in, and I'm just saying, as a group, we should not be voting for Mike Bloomberg. There's nothing in it for us. They never. He, he won't say anything for black people who have been part of this country before its conception, who was fought in every war. Both those flags belong to us. That Confederate flag and that North, and that that uh, the, uh, stars and stripes. Those are our flags. Black men died in the South under that Confederate flag. They fought. They fought in the Civil. They fought in the Civil War. The white man wasn't fighting in the Civil War. It was some of them. There's more niggas fighting in the Civil War than it was my, uh, white man in the South. So let's not get it twisted. The lies they tell. Don't vote for this guy, man. Anybody? And, and, and listen. Anybody that know me that's listening to this. Because that's who I'm talking to, the people that know me, pretty much. You know. Don't don't vote for this guy. I be having these conversations. And I be, and I spread it. And what I mean by that is wherever I'm at and I and I see a, another black person, I talk to them about politics. I talk to them about what's going on in our society, what's going on in their community. I try to hip them to it, you know. I feel like that's my job, and it's my job to make this video. So I probably won't get a thousand hits or nothing like that, but I'm doing my job, and my job is to tell you that Mike Bloomberg should not get one black vote, not one black vote. Okay, he's not talking about power, power nomics, Dr. Claude Anderson. He's not talking about hey, what we can do. What black people can do to to up their game as far as money, he's not. He, they, don't, they don't say any of these things. How we can build our community, how we can use our money to influence votes, 
kind, man. None of these people speak for you. Even the ones that are black that are in the Democratic Party. They're not trying to teach you any of that. There's only one person that's teaching you that right now. That's black media, Dr. Claude Anderson, and black friends. Nobody teaching this right now. Okay? The average, the average black person, he just want to work. Listen, and I get it, and I understand. He just want to work, come home, have a place to live, have food on the table, you know, have have his be able to take care of his lady, take care of his kids, and have peace. I, I, I really 100% believe that's what the average, the normal black family wants. And believe me, if they just had that, we would have any crime. Overnight, it would change. But they have put in policy to make us act the way that we act. They have the policies. It's nothing but terror in our communities and terror in our families. Incarceration, all the drug laws, Jim Crow's, all this, all this has affected us. So we're going to have, you're going to have a mental imbalance. We can't run away from that. But what's happening is we have people they try to run from that. You know, they, they want to distance themselves from their past. A past that they, they really couldn't control. It had nothing to do with them. You born black, you born black. And that's my team. And what we need to do is we need to show a more interest in our team. Even when we speak to each other. Regardless if the person is gay, straight, black people need to be on one accord. Hey, I don't know. Hey, listen. The alternative lifestyle ain't my thing. But if they're black, you know, we still have to work together. Okay? We shouldn't be, you know, yeah, it's, it's something I'm out here. You need, they need to be talked about. They need to be B-rated, degraded, all that good stuff. But as a whole, we shouldn't be separating ourselves from them. That what they're doing is not right. But at the same time, they're still our brothers and our sisters. Like a lot of people aren't doing things right. And we need to educate and still need to communicate. But instead of separating, when we separate, we separate our opportunities and allow others to get in like we do. Dr. Carl Anderson said, every night the black community goes bankrupt. Every night, there's so many businesses in our, in our communities that don't belong to us. And they come in, they strip away, and they take what they want, and they, hey, and they feed off of us. That's what they've been doing for generations. So what is Mike Bloomberg going to do for that? Nothing. I mean, is there a policy, something to plan for neighborhood uh, uh, community stores for black people? No, like, not, like none of these, none of these pundits and... And candidates are talking about rebuilding or anything. So if you're black, for one, you, honestly, and there's nobody saying anything for us out there. So I, honestly, there's nobody to vote for, if you ask me. I mean, we're talking about, we're not talking about religion. We're not talking about socialism or capitalism or whatever. We're talking about, if you want to talk about the right to vote, the right to vote is the right to select. Okay? So guess what? If the selections ain't good, doesn't mean I have to vote. See, you have people that basically, they want you to vote for them, but none of their interests are in you. So for black people, we need to be a little bit more smarter with that. And maybe as a whole collective, kind of zoom in on a candidate that we might like, or, you know what I'm saying, you know, actually get out there and support a candidate that's going to support the things that we want. And how we do that is once again, you gotta have the power economics, power economics and shit. You gotta be able to put that money together and then be able to boost you somebody to put him in a position to do that. Do like all the other groups do. Everybody else doing it. It's not racism. <laughs> Everybody else is doing it. It's only racism when we do it. <laughs> when we do it, then it's, it's you know, it's race. we're racist. Like, they say the most craziest crap. Whenever black people mobilize or whenever black people try to do something for themselves, then wait, you're racist. You're a black extremist. Something wrong with you. 
they don't expect that from you. What they expect you for you to do is to um, sing rap songs, okay, kill each other, beat each other's head in, steal from one another. That's what they want to do. That's what they want you to do. They want you to think that's what you're all about. They want you to go to school and act up so you can write to jail. What's Mike Bloomberg saying about that? Better education. He ain't no answers for anything. You know, they, they make it to the point where what they want to do is blame Trump for all the things that they do. When you see racist, when you see racist doing racist, uh, when you see racism, racist doing racist things, such as going out and actually trying to shoot and kill other people of different groups, and you say it, I don't like Hispanics, I don't like African Americans, and you actually act that out. That's that's your people doing that. That's that that that's not Trump. Trump didn't cause that. This is what's happening. This has been happening. You know, when you see, uh, you know, a white guy, he goes out and he just, you know, he, he goes to Vegas, he goes uh, in the hotel and he just starts shooting down on people. No, that's your people. That's what you do. That's the same thing you did to us in, Tol in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now you're doing it to yourself. This is you. It's not just Trump. It's not, it's not a particular candidate that's causing this to happen. This is America. And they're not facing it. And they're not and they're one politician up there admitting that shit. So what they want to do is keep going through generations and generations and generations because, see, the, you know, the mass society believes their pundits and believes their candidates, what they're saying. They want to keep talking about crime and shit. Like, like crime is a foreign entity. No, it's us. It's, it's, it's domestic. So how do you fix crime? Right. There's a way to do it, but they're not going to do it. So we have to do it. You know, you're looking at all these HBCUs and you see all these great thinkers and people. They got great things to say. But they ain't doing nothing for their communities. The only thing they're doing is going away and driving into another community thinking that they're successful because they don't have to live around your black ass. It's just that simple. These, when you, when you look at the, the black politicians today, it's about self gain, self satisfaction, self gratification. That's what it is. Because they're not talking about anything for their people. They don't, they won't, they won't even mention you by the word black people or they won't even say African American. They, say, they just want to throw you in there and say minorities. So there's nobody to vote for. And I definitely wouldn't vote for Mike Bloomberg. I've already put that in there for for um for by by uh, by by what's his motherfucking name? Uh uh Biden, uh, uh Joe Bi Joe Biden. I already put that in there for Joe Biden. Um, now I'm putting it in for Mike Bloomberg. No votes. No votes. They should get one vote. Like, it's kind of retarded that he, uh, any black person would vote for this guy. He ain't doing nothing for you. Why would he get a vote? Are you in space? Are you retarded? Why should you... Why would you vote for this guy? So that's all I'm here to say, pretty much. Um, I know I, I went into some other areas, but these are all current events. These are all things that are happening in our daily black lives. And I just want to say, Mike Bloomberg should get absolutely not one vote from no black person because he don't care for you. And he ain't put nothing in place for you. He knows you've been through slavery. He, he acts like he knows your history. He'll even talk about it and everything, but he ain't put nothing in place for you. He, nothing's coming out of his mouth to help you. And once again, like I, you know, like everybody's saying, we need to invest in ourselves. We need to buy from ourselves. This guy right here is a joke. A complete joke. Have a good day.